Over TV, you've got a fan come all the way from Australia. Happy today? Yeah, very happy actually. Um, yeah, good to see Arsenal, you know, dominate the game and get mm. a good win. It wasn't always been like this. As we know, last season, these are the type of games that we were losing. Yeah. But it's a really dominant performance today. Yeah, that's what, coming to the game, you know, back in my mind, I was sort of playing up, thinking, you know, are we going to sort of go back to last season's ways and maybe, mm. and then even going in at half time at one all, you know, again, sort of mm. just had that thought about, you know, could, it could be, you know, Mm. Um, stuff it up so yeah and some unsung heroes out there today and one of them's Torreira he's proven to be a fantastic signing isn't he yeah definitely I mean you know he's the Kante sort of player that we haven't had and mm. it's just like just the difference that he's made he's just shot up the midfield and helped out the defense and even going forward he's been pretty good as well so mm. no and Lacazette he started today and uh two great goals yeah a hundred percent um just Lacazette he's just all class um just love watching him play and the first goal was good. The second goal was unreal. And then, you know, even with Obami on the bench, you know, he comes on, plays 20 minutes and scores two goals. So mm. it was just, yeah, it's awesome to see that. Just you got two unreal, you know, really good strikers. And Optimistic this team can do something this season? Yeah, hopefully something like the Europa League or I don't think we can, we're obviously probably not going to win the league, but looking at the Europa League or maybe a cup, hopefully just get some trophies and then some more confidence going into, you know, next season, I'd say. It's quite forward thinking, but yeah. Don't forget, each and every Friday on Channel 4, it's the Real Football Fan Show at 12 o'clock. It's the best show, best football show on TV. Take my word for it. You can also catch up on all four, but make sure you watch the programme, the Real Football Fan Show.